Alright, let's give this a try. I'm not so good at the narrative videos. But that I finally found a way to give broadcast back to all my old portable analog TVs. Just like this 1976 Sony Trinitron KV5100. Nice clear color picture. Coming from... Coming right through the old whip antenna. Just the way it was meant to be. I've always collected the little portable TVs like this. You can see one on over there, it's running off of batteries. And that little guy over there, it's also running off of batteries. And I got those up there. One there. And then I've got some others stashed away in a box that I don't consider as interesting as the ones I have up on display. But in 2009, when analog TV went off air, all these TVs turned into was static. Ones like this one that didn't have a radio in it had absolutely no use. And the idea of a portable TV is exactly what it is. A portable television. There's no trickery. It's just right natural. The old whip antenna, which is this Sony actually has a really big antenna compared to some of the other sets up there. You can see I move the antenna around, it'll get a little bit, it'll get a little staticky. Doing the broadcast off of this thing, which actually is a cable television device. Hospitals, hotels, any kind of facility that use very large amounts of TVs in one area all doing the same thing, this would power them. This would give them all signal. Is a blonder tongue agile modulator. It is a 60 550 is the model. I think the maximum power output on this is like supposedly 13 milliwatts, give or take. It's hard to say. I don't and I don't know the specifications off the top of my head. There isn't much to it. It's actually supposed to be rack mount equipment, but that's not what I bought it for. The VCR on top is an old security monitor. It's from an old security monitor set up for recording. And there's a Wii, and then an AV switch. The blonder tongue just takes the standard AV signal and sound from the AV and converts it into an analog TV signal. which can then be viewed on a variety of small portable TVs. This is an amazing device for anybody who collects old TVs. This is a must-have for anybody who still likes old analog technology. There's no way to get broadcast on analog TV anymore, not without a clunky converter that usually doesn't work very good. And if you're in a rural area like I am, the converters usually don't get any signal at all. Or if they get any signal, it's usually one or two channels, and they're very pixelated. It's not even worth it. I never thought the digital transition was a smart thing on the FCC's part, but I'm sure they had a reason for it. Yeah, the picture's better. whoop de doo And, oh, there's, there's, there's more channel options, because one channel will have sub-channels on it that have other, other things on it. But if you're in a rural area like me, or there's a thunderstorm, or bad weather, or even or a cloudy day, or a good stiff wind, the picture distorts. And if you don't have a huge antenna aimed straight at where the transmission's coming from for digital, you can't watch it. So basically you're relegated to cable TV. But I don't even have cable TV, that's a waste of money. So I just use Netflix, which isn't a waste of money. I use the old Wii because it gets the best picture on the old TVs. And I just pump it into this blonder tongue thing. And then it pops out a nice picture on my analog TVs. So then I can watch my analog TVs own natural, just the way they were meant to be. Turn the TV on, pull the antenna up, find your channel, and off you go. I had to set mine to channel 8. That way I don't risk interfering with anything in the neighborhood or any of the neighbors that probably use antennas because a couple of the neighbors houses around here do have antennas on them 
And earlier when I checked, I was able to get about four blocks away from my house with a still viewable picture, but it had a lot of static on it. I have mine connected to an outside aerial antenna, just an omnidirectional FM receiving antenna on my roof. There's a 75 ohm transformer connected to it outside that converts it to the antenna. And I just have it going through that. It's easier It's easier that way. A lot of people hook rabbit ears to these or just a loop antenna if they're on UHF. But I want it a little bit neater just like this with no antennas sticking around. And it works. Every one of my TVs is, can be used now. It's not illegal. Absolutely nothing illegal about it as long as you're not interfering with anything. It's well below the 100 milliwatt limit. And... There's nobody in my neighborhood that's going to be bothered by this. And it's not going to go far enough to interfere with any commercial stations of any sort. And Even at that, Channel 8 is not used around here. It never was, even in the analog days. It was just snow. It was it's Channel 3, Channel 8, I think maybe Channel 10 were the only clear channels in this area. I, since I live between Milwaukee and Chicago, there were a lot of stations back in the analog days. And some of them would overlap, yada yada. But there were a lot of stations. Ever since the digital transition, there's none. But I can broadcast to my TVs now. So if you collect TVs like I do, portable TVs, bigger TVs, any kind of TV that's analog that required a non-digital signal to work, this thing is well worth it. I picked mine up off eBay for $70. And that was with free shipping. It came, I think it came from Houston, Texas. The thing is well worth it. I can use I can rebroadcast Netflix to my little TVs and it's not going to go far enough that anybody's going to get in trouble like I said. The VCR lets me rebroadcast all my VHS movies to an analog TV. Any of these TVs I can pull down, plug in and use now and I don't have to run cumbersome wires through my room or have splitters, anything like that. Plug and play. Pull the antenna out, tune to channel 8 and away you go. So anybody that collects analog TVs is looking for an analog signal, this is your answer right here. Anything that pumps in through AV, you can put into this. Now it's a little bit messy back here, but that's just the way I set it up. Here's the back of the modulator. Just takes in a standard video from any AV. You'll need an, you'll need an RCA to F adapter than the audio. The only downside is this doesn't broadcast in stereo, but that's not really relevant for portable TVs. I've never seen a portable TV that even that does stereo. There you go. Analog signal for an analog TV collector.